What is up guys? It is me, Real American Politics, back in with a new video. And today we're doing my second video in two months, I believe, of the Virginia gubernatorial race. Now, new data, new polls, all that stuff came out, and I decided we need to do a big dive into Virginia because things are happening in the great state of Virginia, Commonwealth of Virginia, whatever you want to call it. Because polls just came out recently that's showing this race is tight, 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 tight for Virginia standards. Change Research, one of the most left-leaning polls in America, shows Young can only down by three with a solid sample size. That's, that's a margin of error around two and a half, I believe. So either way, this race is borderline within margin of error for every single one of these races. Now, before I continue with this video, hope you guys enjoy these type of videos. If you do, smash the like button below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, and yes, let us try to get to 8,400 subs next week. If we can do that, that'd be greatly appreciated. So, you notice all of these polls. Every single one of them, except one, get to you soon, has McAfee up by three, or whatever you want to call him. I can never say his name correctly, but essentially... Young can only down by three, 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 two, five, five, two, four, two. Only one race or one poll has this race more than five. We all know which one that is. Roanoke College. And before we even continue with this video, 558 vote sample. It took you almost two weeks to poll that. That is not a good sign. You go back to their history. The one good part about Nate Plastic stuff. Oversampled Democrats by four last time with an even bigger sample size. 2017, they oversampled Republicans by nine or the incumbent party. Just keep looking at this. Oversampled the incumbent party. Incumbent party. Incumbent party. Look at this. 12, 15, four, basically... All favoring Democrats every single time, or the incumbent party. It's definitely looking like this is mostly favoring the incumbent party most of the time. This is just bad. I mean, Bono College is one of the only polls showing this race borderline safe. Now, I want to take a look at the Virginia Commonwealth University poll, and it does have a smaller sample size, but its cross tabs intrigued me. Look at this poll. Go down to race. White, not Hispanic. Youngkin is up by 12. This group with 14%. Either of these or pretty much 22% say they don't know yet. Well, so Youngkin's up by 12. According to Fox exit polls, not perfect. In Virginia, Trump won them only by 6. The white vote. Young kids winning them by 12. And he's, according to every data point we have, it's significantly better with the Latino vote. Even a couple polls show him winning the Latino vote. Doing a lot better with the black vote. And then you just scroll down here. Education. No college degree. It was a tie. Go to the poll. High school or less. Young kids up by 8. Some colleges up by 4. This is a huge swing of working class whites in particular. That's a huge, huge, huge swing of the vote. And remember, this is just one poll. There's several polls showing the exact same thing. Whites, in particular working class whites in the Richmond suburbs, and more northern, northern Virginia swamp whites are even swinging heavy for young kids. Which is a big surprise. But does prove my theory on the state of Virginia that it's not this, you know, liberal progressive shithole that Democrats will make it sound like it is. You just go to Virginia, the culture is just feels conservative. Just naturally, Virginia just feels conservative. There's something about that state that just makes you feel like that. Now again, I want to look back at this poll right here. And you notice the big one right here, Nova. The calf's only up by around 
27, I believe. Um, that's Nova. If you don't know what Northern Virginia is, um, just look at Fairfax. Biden won this by 41. Prince William, 27. Go up here, Alexandria, by, I think that's 63%. You just keep going. The northern suburbs, that's a pathetic number. That he's only up by 27. He should be up by at least 30 to 40%. 40% may be too low. You look at some estimates of what's considered Nova. Because there's some debates on what what's considered Nova. But just for argument's sake, just looking at these counties here, Oh, Manassas County, Prince William, Fairfax, etc. They're all swinging heavy towards Yonkin. And whites in places like the Richmond suburbs, blacks in the Rich in the Richmond City, Latinos across the state, also swinging heavy Republican. Now there's some reasons for a lot of these swings. Red wave here. A lot of remorse of working class voters voting for Biden, etc. What about Nova? This is the heartland of the swamp. This is one of the most establishment parts of the nation. Well, you know why? What's going on here? Why this swing's happening in Northern Virginia? Look what's happened with education in North London in particular. The parents are an open rebellion against the school district. In one of the most establishment counties, or quote, establishment counties in the nation. These parents in Fairfax, Loudoun, even parts of Ar Alexandria City, they're revolting against the, uh, sorry, school district. You know why? The school districts are trying to implement critical race theory nonsense in the curriculum. Now, mask mandates again, possible vaccine mandates, all this nonsense. And surprisingly, even the most Democrat counties in America considering the counties. The fact they're against that in Northern Virginia, against critical race theory, should tell you this is not going to go well for Democrats. This open push for uh, critical race theory, uh, mask mandates, all of that. That's going to kill them with parents up here. There's a lot of freaking parents up here. They usually vote Biden mostly because of the uh, motion crap, which... I make a, I'll make a video on that later. That's just a stupid argument. But essentially, these voters vote usually by motion. Basically, do they like one candidate better than the other? Like, oh, Trump is too mean on Twitter. I must vote for Biden. Kind of nonsense. But a lot of those voters are learning, yeah, that's not going well. We're ending up with a disaster presidency. Now, here is where the election will be won or lost. So Trump lost the state by around 11, E plus 4 environment. Republicans in a gubernatorial race lost by 9 in roughly an 8.5 point Democrat environment. So it shifted a couple points Democrat. Yes. But Republicans at a statewide level seemingly finally are getting their act together on some issue. I mean, the fact that they only lost by 9. A D plus eight and a half environment. A pretty good sign that hey, this state for a lot of these statewide races, it's not a hundred percent gone yet for those. So, and plus, this was before the blackface stuff, the post-birth abortion comments, which again unpopular. What a surprise! The Second Amendment nonsense. My opinion is, if North had one of those scandals at the time of the election. It would have been significantly closer. And I do believe in 2020, a lot of these results in Nova, a lot of these suburbs were inflated by the BLM nonsense, which finally the favorability ratings declining rapidly for them. And of COVID. They did not like how Trump was somehow mishandling COVID. Well, they learned that the hard way by inviting, uh, well, voting in the same person that dealt the swine flu pandemic. Didn't go well. But you're noticing there's a lot of voter remorse based on all this data, a lot of these polls, a lot of voter remorse in particular, suburbs. Now, who do I think is going to win? I don't think Youngkin will win as of now. I think he's going to lose by 
roughly speaking. Now, it could change. If Biden makes one more major screw-up, I think Youngkin's going to win. But as of now, Biden is basically holding this race by a thread. Yes, the Afghanistan stuff hurt Democrats, but I do believe he makes one more boneheaded mistake with either, either vaccines, which he almost did today, masks, any of that stuff, he's done. Democrats will probably lose this race. As of now, D plus two, D plus three. I do believe Republicans will take back the state legislature, mostly the House Assembly, Virginia. That's my current prediction, D plus two or three. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, and yes, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.